Hey everyone, Kaz here. Hey guys, I'm uh, making my garden video today, but uh, before I actually get into the garden video, there's something that I want to explain to you. Um, it just came to my attention that I have made a huge mistake. Um, I, I, I'm really sorry about this. I don't know how this happened, but I am going to correct it. Um, as you know, I have my Kaz vs. Wild series on my Kaz vs. Wild channel, and that's the channel that you're watching now. And it just came to my attention that I have not uploaded all of the videos for Kaz vs. Wild 3, nor have I done all the videos for Kaz vs. Wild 4. Now, how this happened, I don't know. I do recall that, um... Earlier in the year, I did have some computer problems, and I had to go get a new laptop. Um, that may have been the issue, but, you know, I, I'm not going to sit here and make excuses and say why I did or I didn't do it. The, the bottom line is that it didn't get done, okay? So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through the lost files for my Cas vs. Wild 3, and I want to say... I think there's three videos for Casper's Wild 3 that I got to put up. And I know there's at least two videos for Casper's Wild 4 that I have to put up. So please forgive me for this, this mistake. Um, I, I'm terribly sorry that it happened, but um, I, I just happened to stumble across it. I just happened to be checking my channel and, and going through some things. And I thought YouTube made the mistake. I'm like, well, I, well how did this happen? And I, I started going through and I, and I realized, no, I made the mistake. So I do apologize to everybody out there. And um, I, I, you know, I just hope you understand. But I will be posting some Kaz vs. Wild 3 videos and some Kaz vs. Wild 4 videos to catch up on both of those series. So um, I hope you stay tuned. And now let's go right to today's garden video. Man, I can't wait for these plants to get going. This is going to be so awesome. Man, I'm so excited. Oh, hey guys, how are you? Kaz here. Hey, you caught me in the middle of getting my garden together here. Uh, it is uh, not quite spring yet. Got a couple weeks for spring to get here, but uh, I I'm getting started already. Uh, I've got an assortment of uh, seeds here that I'm going to get going. And... Uh, I'm working on one of my trays right now. Can't wait to get uh, the garden going, and uh, I'm starting earlier than than last year. Last year, I think I got a late start, so this year I'm uh, starting a little sooner. So, I'm really excited. But um, yeah, I picked up these trays, and uh, you know, these are kind of really neat. Um, it holds actually uh, nine of these nine ounce cups like that. So uh, I have. Uh, eight trays and if my mathematics is correct that would be 70 72 starter cups so uh you know it's um a real cheap way to get started honestly um here's an empty one and uh you see what they look like They're, these are like a dollar fifty each and uh the cups are real cheap too you can get these uh i think i got like 90 of them for like uh i don't know two bucks and uh you know it's just uh I just can't wait to get started this year. So, um, what I'm using as far as dirt goes is um, I'm using the the natural organic seed starting mix that you can get pretty much at any store. And um, I, I'm not using this straight. Actually, I'm I, I'm mixing it with something. And um, about 75% of my mix is is this organic stuff. And then you know it makes you wonder just how organic is this stuff. You know, you just, you really don't know. With Monsanto and everything, just how organic is it really? But anyway, um, my mix is 75% of this organic stuff. And then about 15% topsoil. And then a custom mix that I, that I put together myself is um, some very fine clay with sand. So it's a sand clay mixture. And about 10% uh, is that. So 75% the natural organic seed starting mix, 15% uh, topsoil, and 10% 
the clay sand mix. Now the reason why I went with the clay sand mix is because I wanted to really, uh, these cups to hold the water um, a little bit more than, than usual. So I thought maybe if I threw some of that in there, I mean just enough to, to not really make a huge difference, but to help out anyway. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get another tray right here. I'm, I'm, I'm really excited about this. So uh, let me show you what I got going. Um, I get uh, um, bell peppers here, organic bell peppers, and I've never really had any good luck with organic bell peppers. So um, you know, we'll we'll see what happens this year. So I'm gonna also go with um, some green beans, organic, and then I'm gonna go with some spinach, organic. Uh, I'm gonna go with some leaf lettuce, organic again. Uh, I'm gonna try some carrots. Let's see what happens. Organic. I'm also going to go with some broccoli. Organic. And my personal taste is I, I, I love the beefsteak tomatoes. Now, I've got two different types of seeds here, obviously. And um, I'm going to try them both. See what happens. But again, these are both organic. So um, it says organic on the top here and organic right here. So... Um, let, you, let me show you my grow light and how I've got this all set up and uh, let me know what you think. Leave a comment below. Hey everyone, I'm back again and this is how I have my grow light set up. The, these are the trays with all the seeds and uh, all the good stuff that's going to take place here. Hopefully I will have a, a good harvest this year, but I'm not looking forward to uh, the harvest just yet. Considering the fact that spring hasn't even started, but... Um, just wanted to give you a shot of uh, how I have it set up. The two grow lights above all the containers and uh, looks really good, I think. Now, if you notice in the, each corner, I've got white pieces of paper. That's so it can reflect the light just a little bit better. And um, I think I got a, uh, a, a, a well-covered surface area of lights all the way around. So... Um, you know, switching these trays in and out is going to be easy. I'm just going to rotate them as the plants start to grow and uh, as the plants start to uh, need more light, I'll put those ones in the middle and transfer the other ones around. So uh, I'm really excited about getting this going and uh, I will update you. But um, today is March 8th, so I'm really excited about getting this going.